Hey, Ham. So, congrats. Uh, good luck to you, man, in the draft, and uh, good luck to all six of y'all today. I uh, just wanted to ask you. Um, you were such a dependable tackler in college. Your numbers really speak for themselves. Um, how do you think having a well-rounded game like that sets you apart from other defensive backs in the draft? Um, I just feel like it, it shows my willingness to tackle. I feel like uh, every team just has one thing that I can check the box on for sure. Just somebody that's committed to a physical part of the game just coming down. I feel like that's just always going to be something that teams are looking for because it's an important part of football. That could be Jordan Reed. Hey, Hamza, um, congratulations on everything. I just want to get your thoughts on your versatility. You played a little bit of linebacker, you played strong safety, and they even rotated you on the roof sometimes too. So just go in depth a little bit about your versatility and where you feel the most comfortable. Um, and like being versatile is a part of football. Like it's an important part of the game. You can't just line up in the same thing all the time. So uh, just being able to be that guy that can do multiple things for my team, I always want to be that. Uh, as far as the position I feel most comfortable at, I feel like that strong safety and box safety definitely just coming down here, being about enforcing the run and just coming on tight end and be able to make plays. Let's see, Mateus Good morning, Hemsey. Mateus from Time Out Brazil. Uh, a lot of like mock drafts and other reports puts you in the, like the top 100 guys for going for the draft because of your numbers, the versatility you bring for defense. And how is like this scouts or was important for you during this year because of COVID and how it's going to be for in the pro day that you have for like show for the NFL, the, the final, the final statement before the draft. Um, I feel like it's, it's very important. I feel like the film is the beginning of it. Uh, the interviews are important. Just every time you get an opportunity to like, show what type of person you are. And then this is really like the last chance you get to show what you can do. So I feel like uh, it's just, just as important as everything else. And I'm taking it serious. Hey, yeah, sir, uh, just going through the draft process and everything like that, what was the most important thing that you wanted to work on as you get ready for the NFL? Um, well, as I was getting, I feel like right now I'm, I'm really training for the drills and the, and the combine stuff that were the pro day stuff that we're going to be doing right now as far as uh training for the nfl i feel like i'm really going to focus on just uh, a lot of change direction stuff and um just keeping my strength getting stronger um just improving as an athlete all around hey man this is uh, phil corella from overtime fantasy how you doing today doing good how you doing I'm doing okay. Um, so first, um, are you feeling 100% coming off your injury? And how rewarding was it to be able to come back from that injury and play again with your teammates? Um, I'm definitely feeling good now. Uh, during the season, I feel like I wasn't feeling 100%, although I felt mentally I felt great just because I was able to play football. So I, my, in my mind, I was feeling great. But uh, now I really feel good and just um, – being able to come back and play, I mean, that's really what I came back for. You know what I'm saying? Like it didn't go as I, it didn't go as I planned early. Now you're not being able to get on the field in, in the first half of the season, but just being able to come back and play a couple of those games and make some moments with the guys definitely always a great time. Hey, Hamza, how beneficial was the week at the Senior Bowl, and what was some of the feedback you got after that experience? I feel like it was just. Anytime you get a chance to go play football, um, compete at a high level like that with some of the best guys in the country. Uh, I was learning new football from NFL coaches and getting a chance to be coached up and just uh, really talk to them in a different way by different coaches. But anytime you get an opportunity to play football like that, it's, it's for the better because you're going to improve. Um, afterwards, I feel like a lot of coaches and a lot of teams are reaching out to me. I, at the senior ball, I got a chance to talk to every team. So it was just a good, it was a good experience. Uh, you, you obviously kind of entered Florida State at, at a weird time and, and uh, just with everything going on with the program. As you're on your way out, how do you kind of assess the health of the program, just big picture? 
Um, I think it looked good. I, I was at practice yesterday, actually, like when I first got back. One of the first things I did was just go to, uh, to the field and just see the guys practice, see them go around, just see how the energy was around the team. And I feel like the guys really moving with a purpose right now. That was good to see it. Really fun. It was just made me happy to see the guys playing like real passionate, practicing passionately and just attacking practice the way they were. How you doing? How you doing, Hamza? Uh, I came from uh, Built in Buffalo. Uh, question for you: uh, With your size, speed, and athleticism, you're you're going to be looked at as a as a chess piece in this NFL. Are you comfortable with possibly uh, playing different positions on a weekly basis, depending on the the uh, opponent you face each week? Absolutely, that's what I want to do. I want to be the guy that they move around and for the challenge that they need, the challenge of the week, they, they, they feel comfortable putting me in that spot where I can be the guy that they depend on to make the yeah, Ham, so I just want to follow up on, on you coming back um, and watching practice. And uh, were you, you know, the way you guys played at the end of last season, did you feel like things were starting to trend in the right direction? Uh, after you came back and you guys probably played your best game of the season against Duke? Uh, definitely. I feel like we was always growing as a team. You know, coming in with new coaches last year, it took, it took time to get to get everything rolling just to have everybody on the same page and kind of, you know, you got to really get comfortable in a new system. And I feel like just at the end of the year, we was we had our feet wet, really. And guys, what, from what I seen yesterday in practice, I feel like we was taking that momentum and rolling into it. So that's right. Hey, I'm Sahir Gonzalo from Roja in Argentina. I want to ask you, uh, what do you usually uh, watch when you when you watch uh, a game at a professional level? Uh, what kind of players or what kind of plays do you like to, to see? Um, when I watch pro game, I really just watch to, to see, like, it's the highest level of football. So I kind of look to see what guys in my in my position do to be able to get that edge, be able to move better, like just the dip, like the good way, the way that people play the game, I really just soak it in and try to take anything I can from it just because those are guys playing at the highest level. Hey, I'm so as a student athlete, I guess it works out that you know, the university gives you an education, gives you an opportunity to play football, and, and then you turn around and you, you play football, you deliver for the university, you, you gave your, your livelihood, your, your health to the university. A lot of fans think that players, if they do experience professional success, should then reinvest back into the school that, that helped them out. I guess just where do you stand on, uh, I guess, you know, your alma mater and, and giving back? And is that something that you, you hope to do, or is that just something that's really – not my business, not the fans' business. Um, that wasn't something that I was ever thinking about as far as just investing. I always wanted to invest my time and, and give back. To, like the things that I feel like I got most from the school is just knowledge and just like just really a lot of different knowledge on different subjects, especially football and how to become a professional and how to approach things and how to have the right mindset. So when I think about investing, I really think about coming back and giving any knowledge that I learned at the next level to guys that are here and really trying to teach them anything that I learned that can help them become better and help them become better men and just football players. And I definitely want to be able to do that. Like so. I think Hey, Hamsa, thanks for doing this. Uh, two questions. I wanted to know which NFL players you've enjoyed watching growing up and now, uh, judging from your play style, I'm thinking Cam Chancellor. That's the one that sticks out. And then I wanted to ask you about your mentality as a blitzer because you you just come screaming down from the edge. And I think that could be a real asset as you head to the next level. Um, growing up, I love to watch those physical safeties play. And like you said, a guy like Cam Chancellor, he was one of my favorite, well, he was my favorite player growing up. And uh, just watching the physicality for into the game, uh, watching him, uh, yeah, he used to have pullers come around and he'd be smacking on linemen. Like they were receivers, so I used to just love watching them play the game. But um, as a blitzer, I feel like I just bring a, a mentality when I'm coming when I'm coming down in that box when I'm blitzing. I feel like it's all about the mentality that you have. Like you gotta really truly believe that person coming to block you can't block you, but they'd be on line and you giving him a move and using your hands, or it'd be a running back and you pull rushing or 
But whatever you got to do to make a play, I feel like it's all in the mentality. And, and of course, repetition and practice is just practicing good habits. Austin Reynolds. Hey, Hamza. Uh, obviously, every player had the extra year of eligibility due to COVID. Did it ever cross your mind to want to come back next year and run it back for a full year with the guys? Or did you, or did you know that uh, after this past season, it was your time to go? Um, I felt like I knew that after this year, it was my time to go. Um, I always wanted to be open minded to anything, but I definitely felt like I really had a good feel for what I was going to do this year. Chris Hey, thanks for taking my question. Um, I, I know the last four years, it wasn't really good down there, up and down seasons. Is there a fondest memory that you're going to re always remember playing for Florida State there at Bill Campbell Stadium or on the road that you're always going to remember? Um, I can't even say one memory. It's just, it's so much time you get to spend with your teammates and just it's on the field, off the field, whether it be um, doing a walkthrough or in a game, after a game, celebrating, when uh, shoot, going to the movies as a team, just every little moment you get with your team, you really cherish something. It's just, I enjoy my time. Jane. Hey, I'm Slim Max Moody with Locked On Seminoles. Um, thanks for taking my question. So I wanted to ask about if you've had any contact with some of the other Florida State greats that are in the league right now, like Derwin or Jalen, and, and what advice those guys may have given to you uh, going through this process. Um, not, not a whole lot, like, conversating, like, on a deeper level. More just, can I reach out to me? Like, don't reach out to me. Just let me know you see me working, you know what I'm saying? Just things like that. But as far as communicating with guys, uh, I talked to Nadi actually recently, too. Uh, down at Exos when I was training, just uh, he was just talking to me about the league, just how it is, and just so yeah, I talked to a, I talked to a couple guys, but not too much. Thank you.